Hi everyone, Lloyd Allen at lloydallen.org. This evening I'd like to speak with you on a special topic, respect your husband. Of course, there is the need for husband to love their wives and wives to respect their husband. But today I'll be speaking to the wives and the subject is wives respect your husband. Abidjan, what does respect mean in the context of marriage? And so today I'd like to use a passage of scripture, Ephesians 5 and verse 33. The Bible says, nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. Ephesians 5, 33. This is said to be the passage with the most distinctive difference between the genders. Husband, love your wife. That means the wife feels validated when loved. She feels important when loved. On the other hand, to the husband feels validated when respected. The husband feels affirmed, valued when respected. And so it is rare to find a man say, well, she does not love me. But what a man normally say is that she does not respect me. A man's greatest need in a relationship, friends, is not so much love as it is respect. It is said that a man can live without a lot of things, but a man cannot live without respect. He yearns for respect. He, he needs it. And so it is important that wives bear this in mind. Now, one lady might say, well, I can't love him. I can't respect him because he's not respectable. He's not worthy of my respect. So I cannot respect him. You see, to be respectful to somebody is based on just who you are. And he does not have to be respectful respectable to be respected it is just who you are you are respectful that's just a state of mind that's just a way of behaving you respect people for they are deserving of respect as a matter of fact the scripture has another passage reminding wives that they don't have to even even if they are not what you expect them to be, even if they are not what they ought to be, respect is due. And so we find that passage in 1 Peter 3 and verse 2. The Bible here says, Wives, in the same way, submit yourselves to your own husbands, so that even if they refuse to believe the word, they will be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. There are a few things to consider here. Number one, he is one not just by your words, but by your behavior. The King James Version says, by your chaste conversation. And so that word conduct, conversation really means conduct. So it is not so much, it's not about how much you can preach to him, how often, how repetitious you can be how much you can storm him with words that discredit and demean him. For you see, ladies fight essentially with their words. That's how they seek to get their point across. That's how they seek to win their way into that man's heart, for example. That's how they seek to get him to listen by their words. It seems to me, therefore, that especially women ought to be very careful with the way they use their words, their tongue. You see, our words can either bring death into a marriage or life into our marriage. 
The Bible says that our words should edify, build up. The word edify comes from the same root word from which we get edifice. It really means to build. Our words should be to build up. And by building up, we respect our spouse. So, for example, find ways to respect them. It doesn't matter how much you may think a person is not worthy of respect. How they, they have disappointed you in the past. How many times they miss the mark and do wrong. How much they might have been selfish and self-serving, always about personal aggrandizement. If you look closely, you can still find something of which you can validate and affirm your husband. Something that you can affirm him with. So you can edify him with your words. For example, he went out to work yesterday. Did he come home last night? Well, go to him and say, well, you know, you didn't have to come home. So thanks for coming home. There's so many ways you can find just to validate him and to make him feel that his life is worth living. It is not so much the people in the world that the husband depends upon for his validation as his wife. It's not so much the church. It's not so much the friends. But when his wife can validate him, that means the world to him. So wives, reverence your husband. In this case, what it means, respect him. You win him, not by how much you can disparage, discredit, berate, and demean him. Not at all. You win your way to his heart by how much you can validate him. Affirm him. Whenever he does something noteworthy or good, do not be silent. No. Take the time to demonstrate to him that you acknowledge what he did, that you saw it, you observed it. And then you validate him. Say, you know, honey, wow, you did such a great job. You know, I knew you were good, but I didn't know you were so good. Wow. I tell you what one lady did, for example. She went into his room and said, you know, honey, I was thinking about something. He said, what? He said, you know, I think you are good. And then she walked away. Two minutes after the husband came after her, and he said, honey, did you say something earlier? What did you say earlier? Ah, why did he do that? He inhabits your praise. He'll walk after you. He'll pursue you just to hear you say the words. Well done. I'm good. You are wonderful. For many men, you know, it is said that their love language, their principal love language is affirmation. Words of affirmation. Ladies, you don't get him to do better by telling him how bad he is. No, you get him to do better by telling him how wonderful he is. I want to leave you with this. It is said that a teaspoon of honey attracts more bees than a barrel of vinegar. I'd like you to think about that. So go home and be sweet to your husband. Be nice to him, regardless of his flaws and his faults. Forget about his minor mishaps and flaws. No. Instead, make a big thing of his small accomplishments. That's how you validate him. And that's one of the ways to show respect to your husband. Validate him, friends. Make a big thing of his small accomplishments. He will love you more. Okay? This is Lloyd Allen at lloydallen.org. Join me tomorrow morning at 6, 6 o'clock, where I'll have
Family Talk with Lloyd Allen. Every morning, Monday to Friday at 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Come on over and let's present your families to God. This is your special devotional. Come with your issues. Come with your challenges. Let's talk about them. While we seek to create stunningly triumphant marriages. You don't have to have a mediocre marriage. No, you can escape divorce. Put your marriage in God's hand. And tomorrow morning, join me, Family Talk, with Lloyd Allen. And for more resources, please visit lloydallen.org. Also, will you please share this video on your page, will you? You'll be doing me a great favor. Just share the video on your page so that others can benefit as well. Love you all. Walk in love. Until tomorrow morning for another episode, lloydallen.org saying, God bless you and see you soon. Bye-bye.